Hi, my name is Morgan Rauscher, and I sculpted this artwork out of recycled bicycle components and used a chainsaw so that you could sculpt things out of wood using video game controllers. I'm going to take you through a short video series of how I made this, and uh, hope you enjoy. In this video, I'm going to show you how vibrations are sent to your hand using these controllers. The most important innovation and my personally favorite feature about the robot is the way that it deals with haptics. A haptic feedback sensation is something that you can feel. So for example, the vibration of your phone gives you a haptic feedback response. Haptic feedback in my project was accomplished using a vibration speaker called the Mighty Dwarf. I placed this vibration speaker directly underneath the primary tool button. That's the big red button that controls the chainsaw. This puts the users of the robot directly into contact, physical contact, with the materials being sculpted at the end of the chainsaw. One of the most important features of this robot is that you can literally feel in your hand the tool that's being used. And the way that, that works is by using this microphone here. Now, this microphone sends a signal up to a mixer, and then that sends it to your palm underneath the controller using a vibration speaker. Now, this creates a vibro-tactile haptic response, but if we could just think about it simply, it's kind of like putting a speaker up against your hand, and then you can feel literally the vibrations that are happening at the tool end. Because the tool sends the audio to the microphone, and then the microphone sends the signal up to your hand in the controller. So you can actually feel the wood that's being sculpted with this robot. The artwork took me two months to complete, and the deadline was a Creative Electronics Exposition at the Maison des Arts in Laval, Quebec. The gallery purchased a large selection of lime wood rounds, as you can see here. Creative Electronics Expositions are great places to explore and discover new forms of expression using technological means. I was very happy to give children of all ages the opportunity to play and interact with the robotic arm. A real test of a creative electronics project is if it can be used by anybody with very little training. It's always a bonus to design something which is intuitive and easy to use. I've already planned many adaptations, developments, and future projects that are going to be centered around the robot. For now, I'm grateful to have had the opportunity to make it, and I hope you enjoyed this video series. If you have any questions about the project, feel free to leave a comment or contact me via my website. I know.